Hello, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Um, I went ahead and picked three characters already to start this game. Um, got Cranberry myself in Deadpools. Cranberry is Scaredy Cat. Uh, Vomiter, but she's going to be our artist. And she's got a decent, a fair strength for carrying extra stuff, which is useful in the early goings because you can't. You can't increase strength through abilities through your learning like you can with the athletics digging tinkering construction and many of the other things so I like to get strength with most of my people as early as I can now I'm a yokel so I won't be doing any research so I won't be able to increase uh, Hoplock's learning abilities here uh, but I can increase cranberries um, we'll have Deadpools to help bang out some research because he's got a good learning ability right at the start. Now I'm hoping we get a good world gen. Let's see what we what the game gives us. Alright now I'm gonna pause and pan out here and take a look around now don't see much at this point now only two pools of water wait now there's a third one up here a bit of muck down here um, a little bit of oxalite right here and above us which is kind of nice that'll prove to be very very useful a fair amount of algae in the immediate vicinity so what I what I'm thinking for a layout is kind of to big up, dig upwards and build our housing facilities in here, build the agricultural farms over here, and since we have this one pool of water here and this one over here, can maybe make the water tank over here. So let's begin digging. I'm just using this as kind of a marker, so I'm going to have about maybe 10 colonists total. Uh, that's about far over that direction I want to go. my floor with and I probably only give myself a couple extra spaces on each side. So let me look at where I'm gonna place the ladders in. Probably like right here. first main level. Now since I'm going to put my uh, planners over here, I'm going to 
temporarily need to throw an outhouse over in this area. a little bit because I want to get that uh, that is up the priority of it so I want to get that out how it's built quickly because you're going to need it shortly into the next cycle the way to dig that area. I'll build it in the ladder. Fortunately there is all this carbon dioxide over here. We'll have to deal with that. Which I will as soon as I get the ability to do a little bit of research. Do that, and before this thing caves in on us, we're going to put a temporary wall here to help support. Actually, they put that a little lower. place to stick a treadmill. I think we're going to stick one here with a couple batteries next to it. outhouse in the middle of the carbon dioxide, but they can hold their breath while they go to the bathroom. A lot of people tend to to begin with.
to help hold that uh, CO2 at bay. so that we can get the algae terrariums right away. Put that on continuous. Now to level seven. I don't like the little hamster cheeks of these guys. I think it's kind of cute. Where they sit and eat. first. Close that off temporarily. Not good, not good, very helpful. We can get some learning done to improve the learning skill. finish that today.
to expose that oxygen if possible. I'm not going to have it in this cycle though. Halfway, halfway on the last research. A little bit of CO2 up here, hopefully it doesn't disturb Deadpool's sleep. sleep. Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to go for gas piping right away because I want to get these permeable tiles because they're at least something that's good that allow the airflow in between the floors until as we continue to build the base. Skill of one now. Better than the zero that she originally started. Yes. If that ox light disappears, gonna fill in there, that area of the floor. Looks like we've got a an magenta biome here, which is good. Got a slime biome over here. Let's see what waits around us. You know, the last map I generated had this slime biome probably about 220 degrees around the central area. It was just awful. See if there's only one worth getting. Now on the mouth breather, it's going to use up a lot more O2. And O2 is going to be kind of tight in the early going, so I'd rather not. Now the uh, Rosaline character here, not bad. Bottomless stomach that can be dealt with. Um, but tinkering something you can easily get just by running on the treadmill. 
plus it's destructive, which can be a pain when you're not paying attention. Um, I think we're going to reject these for now and see if we get something better in the next uh, 15, 20 minutes along, whenever it is. Oh, yeah, about 1800 seconds. One and a half hour, we'll see what we get. start digging away on the underside here so we're gonna give ourselves a four level buildable area. Put some more floor tile in. And then I'll throw a I'm gonna bring this ladder down further. Because eventually we're gonna have to dip into this water source. We'll give the room for some of this CO2 some place for the CO2 to go, because I need water to, for the for this algae terrarium. And I can put another algae terrarium down here to help eat up some of this CO2. Got a really nice patch of algae here, which is good. Our CO2, our O2 levels look really good. I think I'm going to turn this off for a little bit. Help us conserve the uh, algae for a little bit of time. Just to open up that water well. And then we're starting cycle four. And that'll be it for the first episode. Stick around and see how this uh, base turns out and what stands to be around us. Looks like we've got another magenta biome over here, which is good. Uh, looks like a slime biome here. Uh, looks like this magenta might go all the way over. If it does, that's really good. Oh, and another magenta down here. Ooh looking very good. Um, this magenta biome, while it has chlorine and uh, uh, hydrogen over here, it can be difficult to cut around in, but it usually has good patches of coal, um, as well as good patches of algae, and of course iron, which is going to be a needed metal because this copper won't very last very long. So, See where it takes us. Until next time.